push that rock here with Simpson Man. Let's tell the story of the toddler trick. This story is apocryphal. Apocryphal is an adjective describing something that we're not sure is true, but that has been handed down as a sort of old wise saying or truth, truthful history, when in truth we're not really sure. Um, my favorite example is supposedly when Alexander the Great, after conquering all of Persia and the Middle East and even in Afghanistan, he reaches the Hindu Kush and he looks out at the desolate land there where there's no more cities and he weeps and his generals ask him, why do you weep? And he says, I weep for there are no more worlds to conquer. Well, we have no idea if Alexander the Great ever said that. His only biographers were his generals and they were all wanting to make him sound great so that they would sound great in, in light of his glory. So maybe he said that, maybe he didn't. Another famous one is George Washington and the cherry tree. You've all heard that. So this is an apocryphal story in math history and it's told many different little ways, but there is a kernel of truth to it. And this story is about Carl Friedrich Gauss. And he is probably most math historian, in fact, every math historian I've read, and I've read about eight of them, rank him as the third greatest mathematician in history. And he lived a little bit before public school times in Germany. And uh, public schools were kind of invented around 1820s in America. So before then, when people wanted to go to school, they would go to a tutor and they, the tutor had to be paid. So only kind of rich people went to school. And uh, the tutor might have a room full of students and they might be all different ages because it's, he would get any business he could get. In Gauss's case, he was actually uh, born to a family of very modest means. His father was a sharp shopkeeper. And the story goes like this. One day, the shopkeeper was having trouble keep getting his books to balance, his, his uh, ledger with, with all his accounting. And young Gauss went over and showed him where the mistake was. And the astonished father, who didn't even think the young boy could read, much less knows, know his figures, came up with the brilliant idea of, well, we will just keep this young boy and let him be our bookkeeper and that'll really help the store out. And he went home with his brilliant idea and has told his wife and as usual, as what women do, they run that brilliant idea because the wife said, no, of course not. We're gonna, if he's that smart, we're gonna send him to school. And they found a way to send him to school. A rich uncle came through and paid for his schooling. And this story is about the first day of school. So on the first day of school, the teacher wants to keep all the kids busy so he can run an errand. And so he gives them this challenge problem. Add up the first hundred integers. Add them up, I'll be right back. But before he can leave, young Gauss says the answer. He says it's 5,050. How did he do that? Well, the way Gauss explains it is he just visualized this sequence this way. He visualized adding it to itself backwards. If you add it to itself backwards, what will you get with each subsequent term? 101 is 101, 99 and two is 101, 98 and three is 101, 98, nine and two is 101, 101. And that's true for all of the numbers in the middle. So what do we have here is, remember we're adding up a hundred numbers, so we have a hundred, and how many of the, what are they? They're a hundred and ones. But that's twice too big because we added the sequence to itself, so we cut it in half. And so we got 101 with two zeros after it when you multiply by a hundred, but if you cut that in half, you get his answer, 5,050. Now, we can take advantage of that technique. It works with arithmetic sequences. Notice this is an arithmetic sequence. It's going up by one each time. So if you have an arithmetic sequence, so if this argument in here is arithmetic, you know, it looks like a line, mx plus b type equation, and it starts somewhere and then it terminates somewhere, so it's finite. So this is for finite arithmetic Remember that arithmetic means the sequence, you add the same 
thing all the time to get the next term in the sequence. And a series adds up the terms of a sequence. So in a finite arithmetic series, the formula is you take the first term, just like Picasso did, add it to the last term, which this is the last term, okay? Then you multiply it by however many terms there are. Well, if you're starting at one and you end at n, well, then there's n of them, and then you cut it in half. So let's do an example. Let's do an example. Let's say we're doing something as simple as 3k plus 1, starting at 1 and maybe going to 50. We could add up, find 50, the first term, second term, third term, all the way up to the 50 term and add them all up, or we can use the Gauss trick. The Gauss trick says, find the first term. Well, the first term is whatever you get when you put in 1. So 3 times 1 plus 1. Okay, there's the first term, okay? Then add it to the nth term, the last term. Oh, you get that's a, you find you put 50 in to find the last term. So go three times 50 plus one. So we take the first term and add it to the last term. And then what do we do? Well, we multiply by the number of terms. Well, if we start at one and go to 50, there's 50 of them. And then you cut the whole thing in half because it's twice too big. So using this formula, what does this turn out to be? Three plus one. So that's a four. And then three times 50 is 150 plus one, so 151. So what do we have there? We have 155 times 50 over two. Okay, so I'm gonna make that times 100 over four. All I did was multiply this top and bottom by two so that I can just do the whole trick of 150 and then add two zeros. Divide, but now I have to divide by four instead of two. It's a little harder. But four goes into 15 three times because it goes four times three is 12 and there's remainder three. It goes into 37 times the remainder two. It goes into 25 times and then goes, there's another zero. So it adds to 3,750 using the toddler trick. Gauss's toddler trick for adding finite arithmetic series. Math made simple. Simpson math.